Hey YouTube, so I just wanted to um, make this quick video for my one week um, methotrexate use. So I took my um, my second dose, meaning my second time of me taking it last night at 10 p.m. And right now, um, so I took it last night, Wednesday, 10 p.m. And right now it's about... 4 p.m. Thursday and um, I woke up this morning and I just kind of felt you know a little I guess you could say almost lightheaded but not nauseous or anything and um, I woke up at about maybe 9 o'clock and then um, I walked my dog at like maybe 10 and once I took her outside and I came back in the house I just started feeling really bad. So I started feeling nauseous, a little lightheaded at the same time. So I, um, so we didn't have any groceries in the house because my husband had to go pick up, um, his sister from the airport. And all we had, um, in the house. Um, with some oatmeal so I said okay well I'll eat some oatmeal so I ate that and that just made it worse so I ate that and I came in here and I just laid down I fell asleep woke up about two hours later and my husband was back with the groceries and so I had um, one I would say about one medium sized piece of sausage and four eggs and normally I'll smash that. Well, I probably ate maybe, maybe an egg and a half. And my dog ate the rest because I just couldn't finish it. It was just making me just feel really nauseous. And it was kind of grossing me out. You know what I'm saying? Like as I was eating it, it was grossing me out. So, um... So, um, I ate that and then, um, I did drink some tea that has some herbs in it. It had like, you know, lemongrass in it, um, licorice root and a few other herbs in it. So I figured maybe that would help my stomach a little bit. And I think it did help a little, but not enough because if it did, I wouldn't be in the bed right now. So um my husband told me i don't need to cook tonight because i just don't feel good i mean i typically cook i don't i don't cook every night but i typically cook three to four nights a week and i cook last night and i was gonna cook tonight if i felt okay but i don't so but here I am back in the bed. Um, just don't feel too hot. Uh, um, I took my daily meds <clears throat> at um, 3.30. So I took that. And now it's a little after 4. So I'm just laying here. Um... But yeah, so that's my little update uh, on my week of methotrexate. I do, I did notice the first week, like I took it Wednesday night at 10 p.m. And I would say I probably didn't start feeling like myself. Maybe until like Sunday, early Monday. So I got about a good two days of feeling like myself and then... I take it again and then bam here I am again so it's like as of right now I mean you, you only take it once a week so the first week I was just exhausted for like four to five days and then it started getting better I was kind of getting back to myself then I take it last night and bam, here I am again the next day after I take it. So I do know that it takes a while for your body to get used to the drug. Um, 
they say it could take up to three months for your body to get used to the drug. And then I even have to see if it's even working. Then I have to get blood tests once a month to make sure that it's not affecting any of my organs. But I'm on a really, really low dose. I mean, I thank God because I feel like if I took anything higher than this, I would be like out of there. I mean, I'd be totally jacked up because this little 6.25 milligrams is just having me almost out of there right now. So, shoot. This might not be the drug. I don't know. I just got to wait and see. Shoot. So, but I just wanted to um, give that update. And then, so since I did a week... Uh, um one week update then i will probably do um i'll do a two week update and then i'll do a 30 30 days update and then a 45 day then a 90 day then a 120 you know that's how i do it so just want to check in with you guys let you know how i'm doing how i'm feeling uh, joint pain still the same. Ain't, ain't ain't nothing changed with that. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, it seems like my nerve pain is increasing. I don't know why. I don't get it. Um. I am going to see my orthopedic, the surgeon that did my shoulder surgery. I'm going to see him next week for my knees because my knees is toe out the frame. I had surgery on my right knee back in 2011. So it's been 10 years since I really got my knees looked at. And this is time. So about seven to eight years ago, Let's see, I was about 32. Yeah, they wanted me to get a surgery called an osteotomy. And I told them that the devil is alive when I saw the surgery. So uh, now, if that's what they want to do, I might go for it. Because it's, it's getting off the chain. So, and then plus now, since I've been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis... It's like, I don't know how much damage has been done, you know. Um, and I have failed a couple of times because of my balance and stuff. So, um, I fell on my left knee one time. I got this big old scar on my left knee. So, it's just been a lot of little things here and there over the years. But, yeah, it's time to get these knees looked at, like, seriously. So, uh, I mean, they hurt to the point where I'll be... <clears throat> I got to sleep with a pillow between my legs, not from my lower back, because at night or just any time when I lay down or whatever in the bed, and if my knees are touching each other, they hurt. Or if my knee is any, my right knee specifically, if it's any pressure on that other knee or up against the bed, it hurts. So I have to sleep with a pillow between my legs, and it's just getting rough. So, I'm assuming that's because of the, probably the damage from the rheumatoid at this point. But, we shall see. That's the only update that I have. And, um, thanks for listening and I'll check in with you, with you guys next week. Thanks.